Hello, crypto party people. I'm Fink, and this is my NFT show. All right, hello everybody. Fink coming at you from his daughter's awesome playroom. Yes, I'm aware there are hearts on the wall. Yes, I'm aware I need a haircut. And yes, I am very aware that my Batman Lego collection behind me is freaking awesome. Tonight, I have a great interview for you coming from the ladies over at I'm Braze. These are two very intelligent, very driven women. They're going to try and bring the fashion world and the NFT world together in a very original, unique way. So sit back and enjoy this interview. All Hi. right. So I'm here with Samantha and Matilda. They are the creators of the I'm Braze NFT collection, and there's so much more to it than that. Ladies, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure, go for it, Matt. Yeah, hi, I'm Matilda, and I'm currently based in Jakarta, Indonesia. I'm 22. Um, I am an anatomy graduate, so not linked to NFTs at all, science graduate, um, and hopefully starting a naturopathic like medicine degree soon, so alongside my business with um, the NFTs and our clothing brand, and yeah. Awesome. Yep, so I'm Samantha, I'm 21 years old, and I'm currently based in Bali in Indonesia, although I do live in Jakarta, so I'm just here for a holiday trip. And I study international relations, but I've always been interested in the NFT space ever since I first heard about it around Feb of 2021. So yeah, that's how we got here. Awesome. Well. Pleased to meet you both very much. Me too. And so uh, well, you kind of gave me some of your background there. So tell me about your project and platform, which in this case, I guess, is kind of a lack of a platform since you have your own site, right? Um, so the site is a work in progress. Basically, we've got our own iembrace.com website, but we're going to be launching the Embody Mascots, which is the NFT collection that we're going to be launching uh, a website, website specifically for that when we, well, we're currently working on it, but it's still a work in progress, basically. And then that will hopefully be minted on the website when we get that set up. So it'll be, everything will be minted off the site. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, go for it, Matt. You can talk about I'm Braze and everything. Yeah. So the idea with I Am Braze, like the parent company, is that like the NFT project, the Embody collection kind of, um, like merges the world of like fashion, like slow fashion, so sustainable fashion um, with our love for like personal developments. So all the Embody mascots are also, also kind of like a positive, like they portray a positive message. And then of course the NFTs themselves. So kind of like merging all those worlds together through the NFTs is what our like goal was. Um, yeah. What else do you want to add to that, Sam? Like as like a summary? <laughs> Yeah, I would also say like we're experimenting the physical and digital, digital world, as well as just us wanting it to be um, purely made by us. So the NFTs were purely made by us. We we are definitely not artists in any way, but we learned to figure out how to do that as well. So it was a mixture of, um, of the mascots being hand drawn and hand painted. And then afterwards, we kind of used Adobe After Effects to actually make the card as well. So we use a couple of tutorials to help us, but it was a fun process. And we've learned a lot about how to merge everything together as well. I can imagine. I had the idea for the show and I have like no technical experience with anything. So I literally like went and bought a laptop and have been learning Adobe Premiere and Photoshop like as I go. Like, but it's cool. It's awesome. I try to make myself learn and add like one new effect or something, at least like each video, you know, make it a little bit better each time. Sure, so sure. Where did this idea come from? You have these different degrees in science and business and all that. So what made you decide NFTs? Basically, um, I was into the NFT space around February of 2021, as I mentioned earlier, and I've been following Gary Vaynerchuk's project, V Friends, uh, for a long time. And I love how he tied in together all the utility and everything. But Matilda and I, we started going into business together around December of last year. So I kind of did my homework first to make sure I could actually like explain all the ideas that I kind of had 
uh, with her. And then we could kind of like work together on building it together and everything. But I kind of introduced the NFT idea and NFT space to her around May. And ever since that, we've been working about what we could do together. And yeah, it's got us to these, a lot of ideas, but we're quite excited by it. It is, yes. It's, it's a very, yeah. very original project. <laughs> Which is awesome. Original, yeah. Original goes a far way in it, especially, you know, everybody wants utility. Like you said, utility, utility, you hear it all the time. I mean, you guys are sending yeah. physical items out with NFTs. It's just, just a whole new level of utility right there. So, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it took some time, but I think we were both like very excited when we started like brainstorming together about what we can do. So, did you, you know guys like, are you? a fashion company also or you have a different company that's fashion or is there a company that you're getting the physical products from yeah i nice was gonna have all kinds of questions for you <laughs> <laughs> don't worry so we also um like sell our like cactus leather bags so they're made from cactus leather <laughs> we, we we got the cactus leather from like Mexico um, from a company called Deserto who makes their own cactus leather. And then we found a local like craftsman, like craftsman to make our bags for us. So one off production here in, in Jakarta. And so there are bags and there are it's it's from our it's for it's from our parent company. So we so people who aren't actually in the NFT space, they can buy the bags if they want to, like without having to like, you know, get an NFT. So the bags are available without the Ambody collection as well. So, yeah. Adding on to what Matilda was saying, basically, I'm Brace is the parent company. And then below yeah. that is the Embody mascots, which is the NFT collection we're launching under I'm Brace. And that will have its own websites uh, specifically for the Embody mascots. But on top of the bags that we will be giving out to several of the NFTs that come along, or we're planning to come along with the NFT, basically. We are also going to be hopefully selling like only um, physical goods that are only specific for the NFTs too. So like sterling silver charms. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And that's for an art NFT token holders. So it's a mix yeah. of something you can buy alone without the NFT or you have to, if you want some of these goods, you have to buy the NFT first. Yeah. And we'll have wallets as well for guys too, if yeah. you know, because yes. <laughs> not everybody wants a bag. But <laughs> right. Yes. Speaking of, I've been trying so hard to get some female artists on here. I really have. So thank you guys so much for coming on. That's really awesome. I mean, I've had a, couple, like a handwritten one and stuff like that, but I've yet to have any females that want to show their face on K. A lot of people in the NFT space really like their anonymity. A lot of intro, uh, yeah, a lot of artists are extroverts. So to come, yeah. to come on and get on camera has been, been a ride. That's for sure. But yeah. Yeah, it's lovely to be here. So thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you so much. So uh, tell us a little bit more about the NFTs. What's like well, actually what's on them and all that, the characters that you use, stuff like that, what the inspiration behind that was. All right. Um, Matt's going to try and go for it first and then I'll add on to that. Yeah, sure. Um, so we have these, I think it's five, right? Yeah, five characters. Um, and they all have their own like tier as well. So we have like our our like like legendary character, which is Pegasi, which um kind of like resembles like he's like the NFT mascot, I guess. So um and each of our kind of like mascots have their own like like special traits. So you know, like somebody who's ambitious or you know, able to adapt to different situations. And so we also have so our different mascots kind of like resemble their own like specific legendary tale that kind of gives them a personality. And the reason why we did that, why we did that is because Sam and I also went through our own like kind of personal growth journeys to get to where we are now. And so it kind of like, it's like a, I guess it's like a, like a, like a story of us as well through the NFTs too. So that's why we wanted our Embody mascots to be our first ever collection because it kind of like talks about like our self growth journey through the NFTs. And yeah, I thought it was like a nice way to kind of show that. Um, and yeah, but our characters, like we hand painted them. So they kind of came from our imagination. Like they're not really based, I guess they are based roughly on actual, of course, animals and characters, but they are just drawn from our heads. So they're not that, you know, like, and we're not artists, but we, but we actually met. So me and Sam actually met at a painting class 
when we were 13 so we were like best like we became like best friends over the years um so yeah that's also quite like a nice way to bring like how we met as well so we started painting together and then now our nfts are all are, are all hand painted by us so it's yeah i guess that's kind of why we decided to draw the characters and also why we decided to hand paint them as well and kind of why they're all you know, like our gratitude dragon of just Gratagon, like he resembles gratitude because we're grateful for kind of like where we are now and all that. So yeah, that's kind of my take on why we did that. But what do you want to add on to that, Sam? Um, yeah, just adding on what Matt was saying. We also, we're, we're going to be introducing what we're called, we're, uh, we're going to be calling them club stamps just because yeah. each club stamp will come with different utility perks. So the first ever one will be called the OG Club Stamp. And that is basically going to have perks from different things. So the first one that you get is the catch leather bag that you can see behind Matilda, for example. Um, that's one thing you could get along with that. <laughs> and um, apart from that, you can also get, for example, access. We're hoping to in the future start building a community where our community and token holders can co-create the digital fashion that's inspired by the mascots with us. So that's something else that we're thinking of doing, but the co-creators will get all the royalty fees. We won't be taking any of their royalty fees from their creation. We just wanna give them a platform for them to share uh, their work to other people as well. And that's basically the main thing that we're trying to do, like get our community to co-create and co-write with us. So Matt also mentioned the legendary tale. We're hoping that we can also co-write children's books one day with our community, basically. That's cool. And would like the mascots be in the books? Yeah, that's yeah. that's. I, the I like how yeah. the mascots kind of like, you said they kind of like tie up and in, into your own personal stories and lives. That's yeah. kind of, yeah. Uh, so, is there a difference between the tiers and the club stamps? Are those two yeah. separate? Yeah, so or are they kind of one and the same. Yeah. So basically, we've got club stamps, which will give you different, you know, physical perks, and then under that, the tiers will also have under each club stamp different benefits to the utility. So we've got core, uh, two NFTs from our Embody mascots, which is Freenix and Gratagon. They're the core tokens. Um, they will have less utility or less benefits, for example, but we're trying to do that so other people can come in at a lower mincing price as well and still benefit from some of the perks that we want to offer them. And we chose Gratagon and Freenix as the core because they're supposed to represent and all the social like work that we've done and all the self-development personal growth that we've done before going on to Adapt Leave, who's supposed to represent our like business and um, Natreya, who's supposed to represent our love for the environment. So always remembering not to be too greedy and not taking too much of our world's resources. And then because of that base, then we've got, you know, we got our Pegasi, which is our NFT mascot, basically. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, this, uh... It almost sounds like you created your whole own Zodiac here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Instead of symbols, they all have their own characters, though. Yeah, yeah. It's really neat. Uh, yeah, you know, every time I do these, I'm just blown away at the intelligent levels. And once again, you guys, wow. Like, the very thought-out, intricate thing you guys have put together here. And it's awesome how you guys are kind of interacting with each other. You have very good communications, which is very important in any partnership. But sure. yeah, like I feel like a lot of people would probably be like talking over each other and stuff, but you guys are very together and take your turn and it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Matt and I, we because we've got a lot of like, we've got a very similar mindset. We've kind of started a business together mainly because of that, right, Matt? Yeah, exactly. Because like, you know, some best friends who start a business together it doesn't go well because it, there's always like, like a conflict of interest and you know someone wants to make it you know a decision that the other person doesn't really like agree with but with me like with Sam and I like we definitely sometimes do have like different 
like decisions or whatever or different ideas but we always come together to kind of find like a way that we can kind of merge our ideas together and also we both have a very similar mindset and so we went into business not because we were best friends like me and Sam actually weren't that close when we like reconnected again to start a business we weren't even that close so we kind of like not lost contact but we like we just weren't that close and then we now have become best friends as we've been working together yeah, yeah awesome. so- <laughs> Where would you like this project to go then? Is this something that you're trying to make your full-time thing or is this kind of like a side hobby business that you're doing on the side for some extra money and then you're going to try and put those degrees to work and do your own other thing or is this what you're trying to do? It's definitely like a full-time gig just because also my degree that I'm going to be doing again in Australia will be quite a flexible degree because I've got some credits that I can transfer from my anatomy degree. So I've kind of like created kind of like, you know, like catered what I'm doing to like to make sure that I have time to be full-time on this project, on this business. And so, yeah, for us, it's like a full-time long-term business and project. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a very ambitious project that we want to take long term, yeah. not yeah. just um, yeah. you know sell yeah. and then not build. Because like the things that we're gonna do, that's gonna take a lot of time. So we're taking it step by step. For we were actually supposed to launch it like a couple of days ago, right, Matt? But then we decided we're not yeah. ready, and we want to make sure that when we do come out, it would be like you know easy for us to scale, and we're not leaving out some little pieces that we should have thought about before. So that's why we're kind of waiting for that. That's very good. There's a lot of projects that are just trying to hit the runway and go that are just yeah. slip up after slip up because of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Well, believe it or not, we are already up close to like 20 minutes here. Um, yeah, I know. They go so fast. Uh, they do. I said they always do. It's, we all love talking about our projects. We all love yeah. and talking about what we yeah. do. So, yeah, you get going and it's just over before you know it. But is there any uh, thank you, shout outs, anything like that you'd like to throw out? Uh, first of all, I think I want to say thank you for having us on the show. Um, we're love, like we're really glad to be here to talk about everything. So thanks for the opportunity. And I think to be fair, I would, um, I don't know if you have the same as me, but we kind of got really inspired by, you know, V Friends and by, I guess, VV Collectibles with their with their like augmented reality um, comics and collectibles, which we're hoping to do with fashion as well. And we've got a lot, we've learned a lot about fashion NFTs from the fabricant and the de- dematerialized. So a big shout out yeah. to them as well, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Same as Sam. Yeah. And also just, I guess, like our parents as well, who have been like, you know, pretty like supportive along the way and like just letting us do our own thing. So, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Got to thank the parents. Uh, so when when is the launch then? Isn't... Um, we're hoping that it will be early October. We're seriously hoping it will. But we've just we're kind of looking at the websites that we're hoping to get ready soon. And to be fair, we're actually waiting for Nameless.io. So Jimmy, the creator of V Friends, the website V Friends. Uh, the website for vFriends, he's launching his own, if you've heard of like Wix or like Shopify, a similar sort of like platform for NFT creators to actually create their own um, website and mint, I mean, um, code their own smart contract without actually having to code it. So because we've got so many like intricate details, we could have looked at like partnering with a developer but we thought like if you know like Matt and I could sit together and like do the coding ourselves not really coding but you know the typing of the smart contracts ourselves through nameless that would actually be so ideal because it's quite you know um, a difficult thing to do with all the intricate things so that's what we're planning to do and that's what we're kind of waiting for right now but we're hoping that if nameless launches at the end of the month then we can you know launch next month because everything is basically ready until then yeah awesome well hey thank you ladies so much for coming on the show you're beautiful you're talented i have a lot of faith in this project like i said i can just tell talking to you that you're two very smart women and you're really putting the time and effort in this to make it come out right right from the get-go and that's awesome i have nothing but faith in this project thank you so much for coming on and talking to me 
Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thanks so yeah. much. All right, that about wraps up tonight's episode. Ladies, thank you so much for coming on the show. It was an absolute joy having you. I had a blast. I learned a lot. I always do. And I really hope that uh, once this actually gets off the ground, I'm braises up and running, that you'll come back and do another check-in episode with me because I had such a good time talking to you that I want to do it again. Till then, I hope that everybody will check out I'm Braze. Keep an eye out for them whenever they hit the floor running, which I know they will. And I know I'll be keeping an eye on them. I want one of those purses, y'all. Mm-hmm. But... Till then, keep an eye out for them. Hope you'll keep an eye out for me too. Recent release, I did this poison dart frog. He's pretty darn cool looking. There's this, and then it also shows him with the black light on him. So, check out me. Check out these ladies at Ombres. All the links will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching my show, everybody. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Fink's NFT Show.